morning. It is Monday, October 26th. Hard to believe it is the last week of October on the calendar today. It is Schedule 25. We will be on Schedule 25 Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday. And we'll be on Schedule 45 on Wednesday. And I've got lots to say about Wednesday here in just a moment. This week is also Breast Cancer Awareness Week here at Siegel Middle, and I want to go ahead and talk about that. I know sometimes Mondays we forget what's going on for the week, so hopefully this is a um, reminder for you so that you will participate the rest of the week. This week is Breast Cancer Awareness Week. Students, faculty, and staff are encouraged to purchase pink ribbons and pink bracelets in honor or memory of someone or to simply contribute to the cause. The ribbons and bracelets are a dollar each and will be sold Monday through Thursday in the cafeteria 7.15 to 7.50. If you purchase a ribbon, you may write your name or another person's name that you are honoring on the ribbon. These will be displayed in the hallway. And remember the bracelets are being sold as well. Also, this Friday will be Pink Out Day. We encourage everyone to wear pink. There are a lot of people that are affected by cancer and especially breast cancer. So this October is always National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we wanted to um, recognize that by celebrating a week here at Siegel. So I am highly encouraging you to participate. The money is going to go to a great cause and that way you can have something to keep and we can display something so to show that you have contributed to this cause. So bring your dollars um, and get one of those. Also make plans to wear pink on Friday. Continuing with announcements from Ms. Benson and Yearbook. Yearbook committee will only meet on Wednesday 1028 this week. Tomorrow's meeting is canceled, but we will meet Wednesday. So any questions about that, see Ms. Benson. From Coach Tobit, see Coach Tobit if you are interested in playing golf this year. Coach Tobit's in the 400 hallway, or most of you see him in the cafeteria each day. See him if you're interested in playing golf. From Drama, Drama Club meeting this week is Wednesday and Thursday until 5. No tech this week, only those wishing to audition for cast. We will be working on music for auditions. It is recommended that you attend if you want to audition for Spring Musical. So, if you are in any way interested in playing a part in auditioning for the Spring Musical, you need to go to the Drama Club meeting this Wednesday and Thursday until 5 o'clock. Jackson Morris, it looks like we have your band instrument tag. You may come and get that. Also, we have a binder here. A 6B student left their binder. Hopefully their name is in it. Laura Jo Craner in 6B. You may come and get your binder. Not sure who turned that in, but thank you to whoever did. All right, let's talk about cookie dough. Cookie dough. I hope you spent this weekend selling cookie dough. I know my online order skyrocketed this weekend. Great job. Remember, I am going to have a master list of our online sales, but as a reminder, you do need to write if someone purchases online, tells you that they made a purchase online, Write their name and the word online on your order form. So we have that to double check. Also, if someone gives you a donation, remember $18 equals one sale for you. And you would notate on the order form whoever gave it to you, how much they gave you, and write donation on there. They didn't get two cookies, but we still want to make sure we have that as a double check. When you, on Tuesday night, take your order form and all of your money that you have, cash or checks, and make sure your order form matches. Do not have things written on your order form that you don't either have the cash for, the check for, or the word online beside them. So if somebody said, sure, I'll buy from you, but never paid, make sure you take them off your order form. 
Your order form needs to be very neat so that we make sure we order the right cookie dough and people get what they want. So take time on Tuesday to make sure it's all right. Wednesday, Wednesday is cookie dough turn-in day. Okay, you need to bring all of your order forms, money, cash, check, all of that in the envelope. Don't just bring it in your hand, put it in that white envelope. We will be in homeroom until all money is collected. Hopefully we're in homeroom a long time, meaning we have a lot of money to collect. But it'll make it go smoother if you've got it all nice and organized for your homeroom teacher. That is Wednesday, which means you still have two more days to get out and sell. Remember, we've got to reach this school-wide goal. Remember Coach Kirkpatrick's going to shave his head and his beard? And you'll get a PJ day. We'll get time outside. I know everybody's been wanting to get, have um, some free time. So all of those things will happen if we reach our school-wide goal of $60,000, which is something we is very reachable. So get out. If you haven't yet, you still have two days. And all you've got to do is ask. You are not going to make sales if you don't ask. So get out there and ask. Don't forget the online um, link is on our website, so that is helpful as well. One other cookie dough announcement before we have special guests. Those of you that are making your final cookie dough advertisement posters for your homeroom, there should be one student per homeroom making those posters, that deadline is quickly approaching. Hopefully you spent the weekend working on those. Those are due at the end of homeroom tomorrow at 8.20 you will need to bring those to the guidance office. 8.20 tomorrow, those final posters are due, no exception. If your poster is not in there, um, by the end of homeroom, you will not be able to participate. So, make sure homeroom teachers talk to that student today and make those arrangements. Teachers, I sent an email this morning about how Wednesday will work. And there are lots of instructions. When it comes to money, it's got to be done right. So I would ask that you please read over that email. Go ahead and read over it now and then read over it again on Wednesday because it's got to be done right. It has to be organized. So I put all of that in an email and went ahead and sent that to you. Eighth graders, big challenge for you. Remember, I've never had an eighth grade group be the top um, great. So remember, I'm really, really, really hoping that you will work hard this year and maybe be my first group. All right. We're going to pause briefly and come back with some special guests. I think we've got some more challenges out there. So we will pause and be right back.
actually two groups this morning. We're going to start with my, an eighth grade group here. Yes, they were listening to my challenge of wanting to have our first eighth grade top grade. So we've got representatives here from Miss Naran's homeroom and Miss Reisner's homeroom. Tell us why y'all are here. So we're here to um, challenge Miss Reisner's homeroom. The losing homeroom will have two students from their homeroom tied with their hands. Whoa, what do you got to say about that? <laughs> that's it. All right. So, Miss Naran's homeroom. That's a challenge to Miss Reisner's homeroom. So, whichever homeroom sells the most, two students from the other homeroom get pied in the face. Is that right? All right. Sounds like a challenge. Thank y'all very much. And we have another group here. Come on in, guys. All right. So, we have representatives here from Miss. Frizzell's homeroom and Miss Hager's homeroom, right? All right, guys, tell us why you're here. So, um, Miss Hager's homeroom is challenging Miss Frizzell's homeroom, and the loser has to buy the winner brownies. Buy the winner brownies. Oh, am I invited when those brownies go? Sure. Yeah. All right, all right. So, what do you got to say about it? Well, I just hope Miss Frizzell wins. You just hope Miss Frizzell wins. All right, so Miss Frizzell's homeroom and Miss Hager's homeroom, that's a challenge for you. The winning homeroom gets brownies bought by the other homeroom. That's pretty cool. So, all right, Miss Naran's homeroom, Miss Reisner, Miss Frizzell, and Miss Hager, those are challenges for you. And you want to use those sales towards the school wide goal as well. So, get out and sell. You got two more days. Distance learners, I know you're listening as well. Remember, your turn in day is also Wednesday. Wednesday evening from 4 to 6. So, distance learners get out and sell as well. We will pause briefly and come back with mission and pledge. Now for mission statements and pledge, we have Jordan Hall, Aiden Hinton. And your mini-school is? Aiden. Our mission at Siegel Middle School is establish a strong foundation for lifelong learning and provide challenging expectations in a safe and structured environment. By working cohesively with parents and the community, our goal is to empower students with the necessary skills to become self-directed, responsible citizens who will succeed in a diverse and ever-changing society. Great job. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all for the morning announcements. Have a great day.